So I'm going to be installing a door on my tiny home. When you purchase the door, make sure you measure the horizontal distance here and the vertical distance and get a door that is either the exact same size you want or a touch bigger because you can cut it down later on. You don't want it too small, otherwise it won't fit. So I've already purchased the door. Mine's a standard size. Mine's um, 820 wide by 2040 high, which is standard in Australia. And um, that's what I made my door opening as. It's already the right size, it's a touch big, but I'm gonna install the hinges first so I can swing it and then plane off the edge exactly where I want it so there's no mistakes later on. So these are the hinges I'm going to be using, 100mm, 35mm wide for the standard door. This one has four screw holes. Depending on how heavy your door is, you may have to put an extra hinge in the middle. Mine's not too heavy, so I'm going to have one at the top and one at the bottom. Okay, so the manufacturer of this door recommends that you bring, you start the hinge 150mm down from the top, and then 230mm up from the bottom. So that's where I'm going to mark and install those. 150 down from the top. That's the start of the hinge. And then you sit it on. Mark it out. And that's where this hinge is going to go. And 230mm up from the bottom. If you have an existing door jam, measure and mark what's on the door jam and um, put the hinges in the same spot. This is only for a new door and new door jam install. Okay, so to notch out for the hinge, I'm gonna be using an electric router. This is a battery operated one. I set the depth to the thickness of the hinge. Then I've got this guide so I don't go past the edge here. Just gonna use it as a stop. So before this, usually what I do, I get a chisel and then I chisel in a mark along these two lines here and then get a blade and do this long mark because if you chisel that you have a you may split off that MDF so I'll do that now and that way I've got a hard edge to stop with my router and it's already pre-cut so there's no chance of timber flicking off and splitting Okay, so there we go, I've notched it out, tied it up with the chisel. Um, it's nice and flush, both sides. So do that on the top and bottom hinges. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is pre-drill your holes. You wanna drill them directly in the center. I use a 1 8 bit. Um, but pre-drill it to the right size for your screws. Okay, so once both sides are screwed in, you want to take it up to your door jam and then transfer these marks for these hinges onto the jam and then cut those out. Okay, so I've got it propped up 6mm. That will allow for the carpet tile, tile and then it just gives me a 2 to 3mm gap up the top there, which is what I'm after. So I'm going to transfer these marks on the hinges. Okay, so I've got the top and bottom both marked. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing as the door. Chisel that line. Run the blade along this one. Chisel the bottom. Then I'm going to use the router and cut it out to the right depth.
Okay, so I've got both of those cut out. What I'm going to do is sit the door on that board again, line them up, pre-drill a hole and then screw one in the, at the top, one in at the bottom and then swing it and see if I need to trim the door down anymore. Okay, so currently the door won't close so I need to trim it off a little. So I've got it closed from the inside and I'm going to run my pencil along the edge here, mark a line the whole way. It's only out by like a mil and um, then got to take the door off and then plane it. Okay, so what I've done now is marked a meter up from the floor. Um, that's going to be the height of my doorknob. I'm going to plane it first. Uh, you can see my mark. That black line all the way along, so that's what I'm going to plane to. And um, that's going to be the height of my door, so I can do it all when I'm out here. Okay, so I've marked out where everything's going to go. That's going to be cut out for the latch. Going to drill down through that center mark down here, and that latch is going to slip through it. And then I've got a center mark here, which is going to be a 50 mil hole. Um, and that's where the doorknob set is going to push through. If you're unsure on how to mark this, there are templates that come with the, the knob set. So just um, use that, trace it out, and sh should give you the same thing as this. Okay, so now I'm going to be using this 54 mil hole saw to push through that mark there. You want to start it on one side, and once, once this drill bit pokes through the other sides, stop and then jump onto this side and finish it off. If you do it all from one side, you might push out this MDF here and um, bust up the paper and stuff. So you want to do one side, get that cut, drill bit, once the drill bit pushes through, swap it out to the other side. Done one side. The drill bit poked through, and that poked through almost exactly on my mark there. So now I'm going to jump on this side, do the same thing, and then it'll be all cut out. There you go, so the whole hole's been cut. Now it's time to chisel out where the latch is going to sit. So I've already had that, got that mark, so I'll just get the chisel and start doing that. Okay, I've got that cut out, sitting in there nice and neat. Just got to pre-drill some holes and um, put the screws in. Okay, so I've got the doorknob installed. Now I'm gonna go hang it and then I can mark out where the latch catch is going to go and then cut that out and install. Okay, so I've got the door hung. Now I need to mark out where this catch is going to sit. So when you do this, you want to line up the center of your latch, transfer the mark across, which is what I've done there, and then measure the distance from the edge of this door to the face of that latch. And that's how far you come in from your door jam. Then you want to line this up in the center. If you flip it, flip it around the other way, you can actually mark it. Line that up with that mark you put on there before. And there it is. So with this one, you'll have to drill it out a little. So I'm going to use the same spade bit that I used for the door on here. Okay, there we go. That catch is installed. All I need to do now is put 
bit of timber around the outside act as a door jam and then we're good to go. Okay, so on the outside I just installed that pink trim. That's just the door jam, so when you close it, the door can't go any further than that. Keeps it nice and tight and actually blocks off some of the, the gaps in it so not as much air can go through. Okay, there we are, the door's fully installed. Like a bought one.